all right hello hello youtubers um right now i'm gonna um show you um what you need to do is an 07 deep wrangler 3.8 um to change the o2 sensors um i've been working some other things grounds and stuff like that and um but i'm gonna show you real quick you gotta remove this cover from the tires here it's got all these rivets um you gotta remove them and um you're gonna need one of these um i'll show you in a second yeah need one of these or some other you know tools to remove all two sensors i mean um i'll tell you one thing i'm um, plug the battery first of all and um be prepared um with these jeeps or any vehicle most of the time um i already got these out but um you need to be prepared you could either use uh um one of these but a seven eights on this side it should be easier with um with this one but if it don't work you're gonna have to use a seven eight and you have to use some kind of bar or whatever because it could be be ready it could be really tight and um the one downstream i had to heat it up and when I said I had to heat it up, I heat it up to red. Um, that's how pain in the ass it could get. But anyways, I'm gonna show you another thing. Um, <clears throat> um, don't do um, this mistake. I'm gonna show you the one upstream, how it looks. I mean, cause when you get one, you're gonna get a sensor that is upstream and one downstream. So here's the difference right here. And if you get all four, don't be mixing them. And if you order from a line, be careful. Um, because I seen online sending four of these and then you're gonna have some problems. I mean, that's why I said to buy the original parts or something, but this is this is downstream. The, the fat one is downstream and the skinny one over here, that's upstream. So, um, yeah um just just don't because nobody mentioned that i've seen a lot of videos and they don't show you exactly which word which one goes where just in case you pull them out and um you forget where it goes but that's how it is i mean this one goes to the bottom this one goes down downstream see um like i said i already you know pull pull the other one out and it, it wasn't that easy it was uncomfortable in that area there, even with this, I mean, socket that I bought. But yeah, that's it. I mean, make sure to check your plugs, everything, you know, that it's all good, your connectors and stuff like that. And then just, you know, tie it up and hook it up and good to go if that's your problem, you know? So have a good day. Thank you. Don't forget to share and like and subscribe, please. Um, any questions, just let me know. I've been working. I just rebuilt this engine. And um, I'm about to post new spark plug wires and all that stuff. So, and another video, I show you some grounds that I have to take care of it, that it was giving me problems too, also with the uh, sensors. And I'll show you what I did. Thank you.